Today I'm testing this battery tester analyzer. This is the Kimbolium BM580. And to test it, I'll be testing these two batteries here, a good one and a bad one. The Cochrane amps and this one is not good. This one is in very good condition. Also, I'm gonna be testing it with a working battery in a car. Let's do it. First, let's take a quick look here at the box. 2.4 inches screen color, over voltage input protection, reversible access. It is designed to test 6 volts and also 12 volts battery. These are the buttons to navigate through the main menu. And this is a USB cable in case if you want to update it or either download screenshots to the, to the computer. And the good battery we have 900 CCA cold crank amps. While on the bed battery we have 750 CCA. Now here on the bed battery we still have some voltage but the CCA is not good, it's not able to crank the vehicle anymore. First let's test the polarity protection of this battery tester analyzer by connecting the negative clamp to positive right there on the battery and positive to negative here. And it does not turn on, so it seems like the polarity protection works. Let's install it correctly right now, negative to negative, positive to positive. And there is the menu right there. Let's go to setup first. Languages. And we have about 11 languages here available. And here you can choose other options like a self-test, beep, information, or change the dem. Let's check the bell battery first. 12 volts. Quick test. Make sure the engine is off. And in this case, we don't have the M-Power label on this battery, so we're gonna go back here. Out of vehicle. Here you can choose the type of battery you have. In my case, I have a regular flat battery. I'm gonna check the CCA or call crank amps. In this case, I have 750 CCA label on this battery. And the battery tester analyzer is displaying the results through the SOH. In this case, we have 0%. This battery is damaged. The CCA is not good. That's why it was replaced. And if you want to take a screenshot, just do this. Press these two buttons here and hold them. To return to the menu, just press and hold this button here. Now let's check the waveform. Waveform is basically the voltage. Beautiful waveform. We still have some voltage on this battery, but the CCA is not good. I'm going to take a screenshot again. Now let's check the multimeter. Basically the voltage again. See the white line right there and the green area. The voltage is not that good either, but we still have some. Playback, waveform, and we're playing back the results that we just got from the waveform. Accurate results so far on this device. Let's check the records. And those are the records right there. Very good. A good battery here and we have on this one 900 cca in this case and i'm able to see the data through the soh in this case 71 percent this battery is in very good condition so far the waveform to check the voltage that is a beautiful waveform right there let's check the multimeter which is about the same as the waveform just that the results are shown in a, in a different way see the voltage on this one is good see about 12.35 see the white line right there it's in the green spot and the green area the green area is good and the red area is bad and now let's check the charging system on the car let's check the condition of the battery first in vehicle test battery test Make sure the engine is off. 
let's check the CCA. In this case, we have 550 CCA label on this battery. And we can see the data through the SOH and obviously this battery is not in the best condition but it's still doing the job so it will have to be replaced in the near future. Let's check the charging system to check the condition of the alternator. And I can see the ripple test evaluator and the quality of the battery's power supply by measuring the voltage and current fluctuations. Start the engine and keep it between 25 and 3500 RPMs. Lovely and lovely ripple results, they look pretty decent so far. Let's do a startup test. Make sure the engine is off before starting the test. If the starting voltage rating is below 9.6 or either above 13.5 volts, that means there is a problem with the starting system. But in this case, the startup system looks normal. Let's do a load test by turning on all the accessories we can. Let's keep the engine between 2000 and 2500 RPMs. Current, minimum, low capacity, everything looks good. Here is how you can connect it to the computer through the USB cable and watch the results in the computer. In my computer, I can take a look at some of the screenshots I got. This is the screenshot for the waveform. And this screenshot is for the multimeters, you can see it. Despite being a very small device, it does a great job. I tested three different batteries each of them with different condition, a bad one, a good one, and the one in the car which is still doing the job but only with about 50% of its entire capacity because it's an old battery already and that is the condition of the battery and this small device here was able to tell me the difference each time I tested each battery here. So if you suspect your battery is going bad or it's getting weak and you want to check the health of your battery, you should get this device. I'm going to leave the link here below if you want to get it. So for now this is all, thanks for watching and stay blessed.